Hi, I'm Vika at Zendrev Company and today I will show you how to work with the 360 Photobooth app. So, we already have the GoPro connected. If you can't connect your camera or don't know how to do it, please check this guide. So, for now we have the camera connected. What else do we need to do? In the main screen, we can see the current status of connection to the platform. In my case, I don't have the platform connected. I'm just standing next to me and rather beautiful, but it's not connected. Also, we have the GoPro Hero 10 connected. Our time is the final duration of the video, so it's going to be 19 seconds. 19 megabit is the final size of the clip, and the recording time is 6.1 seconds. If you want to change one of those settings, for example, if I want to change recording time and out time, then I can move one of two sliders. The second one with fixed lens is changing the recording time and out time. Also, you can just change the number of current effects. So for now, as you see, we have six of them selected. They highlight red. If I make something like this, then I will have 12 effects selected. And as you see, for now, the recording time is 14 seconds and the out time is 40 seconds. So it's rather long clip. I mostly create 15, 20 seconds clip and my recording time is from 3 till 5 or 6 seconds. Also, when you move the second slider, then you see that it's also changing the duration of each effect. As you see, all of them are changing. It happens because the music analyzer is turned on. So for now, it just makes all effects to change one by one when there will be like the specific bit of the music. And it's all done automatically, so you don't need to think about it. But if you want the first effect to be one second, the second two seconds, and etc., then you can just turn on the manual mode. You can just go to customization and to turn off audio analyzer. In this case, you can just set the duration of each effect manually, as you see. I almost never use it, just because for me, automatic version is much better than I can create. So, what else do we have here in the main screen? You can just see all those six effects selected, but how to change them? It's super easy. You just need to click at the number of the effect, for example, the first one, and here you can just see the preview of effects. You can actually mix effects from the left and right column to create your own combinations. When we press next, then we are going to the effect number two. You can actually select up to 12 effects in one video. I mostly just use about six of them, as you see here. Also, we have sliders of the video speed. There are also 12 sliders for 12 effects. But for now, we use only six of them. So only six of them will be used. So mostly I use from it from normal to slow to very slow and then back to normal speed. You can actually use it as you want. So that's actually my version. You also see the same sliders when you click at the preview of effect. So you see the speed here. What else you may need for the first setup is the aspect radio. So it can be a widescreen video, the standard one, like your screen of the laptop or like the TV screen or something like this. And also you can create square videos. Square videos are rendering a little bit faster and they're perfect for Instagram. Widescreen videos are perfect for TV screens, for the laptops and etc. So it actually depends on your preferences. You can just ask your client what he or she wants and to select aspect radio that you need. The next thing that you need to do, most probably you need to do, is to select your own song and to add some branding. For this, you need to go to customization settings and here you see two columns. One of them is for the square video and the second for the widescreen. So for now we have the square one selected and it's highlighted red. If I select the white screen, then it will be highlighted red. So if you have the square video and I want to create like square one, then I need to load all my customization settings in the right column. So for now, I have add PNG overlay turned on. And if I want to add some kind of branding, some logo, then I just press open overlay and load my overlay. I have one of them as a desktop selected. 
So for now, it will be at my video. Let me just show you how the preview of this logo looks. So that's how it's gonna look like at the video. I create those kind of logos and etc. in the Photoshop or in Canva. The only thing that you need to remember is to save it with a transparent background. That's actually the only thing. In the other case, you just won't see people and as you understand, it just won't look good. Also, here you can just add some animations. We have some of them in our free collection, so you can just load it and use it. Intro is a small clip in the beginning of the video and outro at the end. If you want to load your own audio, then you just press open audio and select your song. If you don't have any songs at your laptop, then you can also use music without copyrights in our free collection. We just send the email, useful things for your equipment after the purchase, so just please check it. Also, if you have some specific song that you want to use, then you just type in the Google the name of your song and download. We don't recommend using the music with copyrights. You can actually use audio stocks to find some new songs. If you don't want to record the new video, for example, I don't have the platform connected now, then I can just use the test button. So when I press test, I can select one of my old clips, just to render it with my current settings and to show you how it looks like with a new branding and with new effects. So that's actually how it looks like. What else I would recommend you to do before your first event? I would also recommend you to go to colors and to set contrast to 1.2. Just the final video will look better like this. In a resolution, I would recommend you to use 720. Just like this, videos will be rendering much faster and the quality will be still fine for the TV screens, for phones and etc. That's actually everything about the quick starts. I will show you all other functions of our software in the next guide.